Today I'm gonna make a review on the train that goes from Stockholm to Umeå in Sweden and we're gonna go in the second class or economy class. So let's get on board and let's get rolling. Ooh, ooh. This train departed very early and it's winter time so it's very dark for a very long time so I had to wait a couple of hours before I start filming. And now the sun is rising so let's get on with the review. This was an express train so it doesn't stop in every station it was around 10 station and the ride takes a little bit above 6 hours from Stockholm to Umeå. And above your head you have a reading light you can use if you want to. And you have a curtain for sunny days, if the sun is bothering you. And here we have a pretty big table. It was really good, stable. And you can put your drinks over here, in plastic bag for garbage. And on the side here, between the wall and the seat, you can put your bag or, or something else. And on this side, hidden under the armrest, you have the electricity if you need to charge anything. And it's, uh, it's regular wall sockets, so bring your charger. There are no USB ports on this train to charge your phone. And uh, overall, it's a really good space. I could almost lay down if I wanted to, so no problem there. And now, time for a little detail that I didn't found until the end of the journey, but I put it in right now. It's actually a little button down here, a white one, and if you pull that button up, you can actually slide your seat a little bit forward and make the angle for your back a little better. And uh, if you look on the other side, it's the white little button down under the armrest. So, what to do during the 6 hour long train ride? Well, some seats have this magazine and it's only in Swedish, so either you learn Swedish pretty quick or you can already read in Swedish. It's up to you. This ticket cost me around 50 dollars, 50 euros. It's around there depending on the time of the day and which day it is in the week, of course. But around 50 bucks. Then it was time for a little walk to check out if the bistro car was open. I didn't know that because it's still a pandemic. And uh, it was. So here you can buy some candy, soda, water, beer, sandwiches, salad, some hot meals. And as you see, the train is really, really empty. And here is an area you can hang around where it's not the pandemic. And the prices are actually not too bad. It's pretty okay. Hot drinks and some microwave ovens to heat some food. Uh, as I said, I didn't know it was open, so I brought my own breakfast on the train. Nothing fancy. Uh, turkey, cheese and salad sandwich. Some cookies, mandarin, uh, tea and uh, energy drink. When you don't drink coffee you need some energy in the this early in the morning. So that's what I got for breakfast. And after you filled your stomach with all that, or the 
food from the bistro you maybe want to go to the, the restroom so let's have a review of that and the hair it's very clean and it's also very big and it's very simple everything and you also have this little letterbox window so you can't if you're not very tall look outside while you're taking your business down the drain yeah it's uh, really really nice it smells good everything everything is okay I don't go by train that much when I'm traveling. I like planes, it's faster. And uh, when I'm traveling in Sweden, I always take my car because I love driving. That's one of my biggest passion here in life. But now I have the opportunity to go by train a little bit inside Sweden. So I'm gonna do that for a couple of reviews. I'm actually going tomorrow to do another one. So stay tuned, but first, we need to check out the uh, Wi-Fi. Is it any good? Can you work on the train? If you need to. Let's check it out. Well, it works. And it's uh, absolutely free. And uh, the train goes through deep forests, so you maybe don't have any connection through your cell phone. And the Wi-Fi is, mm, it's okay, but nothing more than that. It's pretty slow. Whoa, what's happened here? Hmm. Well, let's play some games and uh, continue the ride. In my flight reviews, I always mention the plane, what kind of plane it is, manufacturer and model. And uh, I can't do it here because I don't know what kind of train this is. It's the same as the one I'm filming here. Uh, so if you know and can help me, please write a comment down below. And if you are more than two people traveling together, you can always choose these uh, table seats. It's up to four people. And here you have a tree and uh, one access for a wheelchair. So, time for some final words. This ride was great. I see no problems with it. And uh, I can do it again. No problem at all. It was clean, quiet and uh, the seat was comfortable it was good price and it was really nice just enjoying the ride and look out the window at the landscape passing by i didn't take the ride all the way up to Mew. this is my stop it's uh, called kramfors it's around uh, the two hours before Umeå. but uh, it's the same train it's the same line so until next time, have a really nice weekend and a week. And uh, I'll see you. Bye.